Hello Gemini, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well and thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. Please remember this is a general reading. It will not resonate with everyone. You can look at the readings for your moon and rising signs. They might suit you better. We've got you're ready. You're ready. You can be ready for change, ready for new challenges. Yoga. Your life is enhanced by yoga, stretching and exercise. Now, we're not all going to take up yoga, but what we're saying here is by doing something that relaxes you and grounds you, it's going to help. It helps you with your uh, intuitive side and it helps with your choices, but you're ready for change. It can be that you're in a very healing, calm place here. You're feeling good within yourself and that's excellent. You're at one with yourself here. You're feeling peace. You can connect in with your quieter side. The Five of Cups, Ten of Swords, yep, Endings, The Fool, beautiful, you're ready. Okay, the Queen of Pentacles, the overall central energy, there's your decisive, I love it. The Queen of Swords, the Two of Pentacles here, the Three of Cups, this is coming out a lot for people. Uh, in the other sets of readings, I got the five a lot, the five of, uh, is it the five of swords? But we're getting, or the five of wands, fives were coming out a lot for change, but we're getting uh, a lot of this celebratory energy, which is always good to see. The seven of wands and the seven of pentacles. So what we've got here is we have got upsets. There's been upsets and disappointments here. I feel that you're getting over them. There's been a disappointing cycle. Mentally stressful cycle. I think that you're getting over it. Um, you're ready now. You've learned lessons. You're letting anxiety go. A new day is dawning. You're relaxing. You're doing things you enjoy here. Um, you're grounding yourself. And I feel that that's brilliant news. You know, you're putting these disappointments behind you. There has been upsets. But you know that you can't dwell in these things. And you've been looking after yourself. You've done a lot of self-care here, which is excellent work. And that's what's preparing you now for change. So you've been able to put these disappointments behind you by grounding yourself and doing things in the quiet, working on your body, looking after yourself, being self-care, beautiful energies. So what's happening now is that you're ready to take that leap of faith forward. You're in a really good place. You've done the work that's needed here, definitely. So you deserve this brand new start. You're trusting in your abilities here. You're trusting in spirit. He's Travelling light. So this whole top row here is about ending your disappointments and upsets and being ready to put these challenges behind you and travel light. He does not take all his baggage with him. He doesn't take all this with him. He puts it all behind him. And I feel that you're, that's what Spirit's saying. You've done all that. You've done the work. You're ready for brand new beginnings. Now, the overall central energy here is the Queen of Swords. And she, and when I say he or she, it's not a gender specific reading. We're talking about the energies on the cards. But she's somebody who's very decisive. She's in a good place. She's making intellectual decision, decisions. They're strategical. They're to her benefit. It could be here that you've cut people in situations out of your life that caused these disappointments and anxieties. You've got rid of them now. You've made clear cut decisions. So you don't suffer fools gladly. You're in this good place. Now, when you make your mind up about something, there's no changing it. She's a no nonsense energy. She doesn't take prisoners. And because you've made these, well, you know, these good decisions for yourself, you can see clearly now, you might even be speaking up and communicating about how you're feeling and the path you want to go down here. But you're ready to take this leap of faith. You've done what's necessary here. You're clear in your head what goal you want to, uh, what path you want to go down, what goal you want to set for yourself. Oh, she wanted to fall over there. Um, but you're clear-headed, you're decisive. There's no doubt in your mind now, and there's a determination attached to this. You're not fighting against the tide here. You've got the upper hand because you've got the clarity you need. You've listened to your intuition and you've healed yourself. You've taken time to heal. And you're ready to stand up. And this can be speaking up for yourself as well. Standing your ground here. You've done everything right here that's necessary to move you on. To lighten your load, if you like. And that's why you're ready to spring forward. So don't be frightened to stand up for yourself or speak up to for yourself if that's what you need to do. If you're going through all this just now, what I've spoke about there is the journey towards releasing yourself, grounding yourself, getting the clarity you need to prepare yourself to go forward to new beginnings. 
and we're making, we're weighing things up really well. We're balancing things up. We're making well balanced decisions here. If we've been juggling too much and that's been part of it, we're delegating. If we've got two jobs, we're cutting it back to one. We're ready to do whatever's necessary here to create the beautiful balance in your life. And like we've said earlier, you know, grounding yourself, doing exercise, meditation here, walking in nature. These are all things that help ground yourself and connect you in with your intuition to help with your decision making. So you're choosing your path, you're making well-balanced decisions here and you're working on something and you're prepared to put the work in and nurture this journey, this new beginning that you're taking. Now, it could be in relation to work, it could be finances, it could be relationships or environments you're making decisions over. Whatever you're healing from here, it could be in any area of your life. And we do know that one area can affect, you know, if there's upset in one area, it can affect more than one area of our lives. But pentacles are anything that's tangible. And you're prepared here now to do the work, be patient, nurture the situation and let it unfold naturally. And you will see progress. Things will grow. It won't happen overnight. It takes time. But you're prepared to do this. You know this now. Part of this is a calm approach as well. You know, if you're grounded, you're doing things you enjoy, you're just taking life at a pace that it should be going at. We're not trying to achieve too much too soon. We're just going with the flow and letting things unfold as they should. And what happens here is we create beautiful home comforts for yourself here through working and nurturing this, this situation. Um, this could be new jobs. It could be, you know, you're working on your studies. It could be um, working on a financial plan. Like I say, it could be building a home for yourself. Anything that you're taking that leap of faith forward to do, you're going to be successful because you're prepared to weigh things up in a sensible way and you're prepared to show the patience and nurture it. And this is where your benefits will come from. You'll get into this queen energy. Now, this can be people as well that show up that support you at this time. It can be people that are nurturing you and supporting you. A Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn energy. It doesn't have to be, but it can be. It could be parents. It could be siblings. It could be friends. But the right people will show up here because you're prepared to face up to your challenges, face up to the disappointments, and you're prepared to let them go. And what will happen is it will be a time for celebration. You want to celebrate your achievements. You want to have nights out. You're going to feel better about life. You could you could be celebrating an anniversary, um, you know, or a birthday. But there could be celebrations and invitations coming forward for some of you. But um, this disappointment could also have come from a third party interference. You know, uh, somebody from your soul tribe, your friends, your family. That's maybe been a third spoke in the wheel here that you're ready to move on from. But uh, if not, you know, you're going to want to celebrate things here, definitely. There's happier times coming in now. You're ready for happier times. Light. Beautiful card, light. The Fairy Queen of Light comes to shed love and light into your current situation and to remind you that light can penetrate the dark. And that's what this is. There's a new day dawning here. The sun is coming up. Hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.